Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, I hope you're all sat nice and comfortable because tonight we're going to make macarons. Now, I've been asked quite a few questions this week. Macaroons, macarons. I even got asked what's meringues. So, you know what, let's play with it all tonight. So, let me just say hello to Karen. Hello. Hi, Simon. Hello. So, we're all sat here nice and comfy in the kitchen. Are you comfy? Give us a wave. Let us know that you're here. And Karen is answering questions for you tonight. So, feel free to ask. We're going to talk about our new product, whipping it up, because um, we've been doing the flavoured icing sugars for years and I don't want you to forget them because they're amazing, okay? There's 56 flavours in the whole range, but we brought the whipping it up range out just to make it a bit easier. With the flavoured icing sugars, you can make delicious buttercream, you can make meringues, you can make pavlovas, you can even make the Swiss meringue buttercream with it, um, you can make biscuits, you can make, you can make everything with it, but you need to add egg white. So we've developed a product that has egg white already in it, the product is still gluten free, it's still nut free, it's white in colour, suitable for vegetarians, not vegans I'm afraid, okay, and it's absolutely delicious. So we do seven flavours and they go in a storm. So the flavours that we do is raspberry ripple, velvet vanilla, salty caramel, black cherry, strawberry milkshake, lemon drizzle, um, and I have forgot one, velvet, wait a minute, yep. And then we've got the special on, which is coconut. So I'm sure I've still got one we're missing. Did I say seven? Let's see who was paying attention. <laughs> so we've also got a bundle on. We put a bundle on sale a couple of weeks ago. These are uh, uh, retail at $5.99. We've launched them at $4.99. And I've also put a bundle deal on as well, all seven. If you buy all seven, it works out £4.28 each. So it's absolutely amazing. 500 grams in the bag, white in colour, and you can look wherever you want. Absolutely brilliant. Um, it's got a long shelf life, 18 months as well, so super. Right, so who wants to learn to make macarons? So um, we made pink ones yesterday. We made them on Monday, and when we made them on the Monday, it was so, it was so easy, I actually felt really very confident about doing them, because they are one of my things that I'm scared of doing on a live for you, uh, especially when you're using um, real egg whites. So uh, we made them on Monday, and we made them in pink. I haven't got any pink ones here, because they have been scuffed. So we, we made them pink, blue, black, didn't we? Yes, someone behind the camera there has had plenty. <laughs> Work has had plenty, okay. So then what we did then is we just made some other colours just to see how lovely the colours are. Now I have tweaked the recipe because when I was looking at it on Monday, um, I mean I haven't got a blitzer for my um, uh, almonds so we've had to put them through the sieve a couple of times but when I was looking at the recipe I thought mm, there's still too many like little bumpy bits so I've actually reduced the amount of almonds and they are brilliant so they were brilliant on Monday they're even more brilliant now so I'm well chuffed. It's called perfection now. Is that what they're called? Okay then so we've done this lovely blue we're using the colour splash colours and we're going to use them again tonight I'm going to show you how to use them and the colour splash range I, I've got three ranges of colours that I sell we sell the um, Colour Splash range, Fractal range and Pro Gel. All those colours are absolutely amazing. And I'll use any of them any time. They're all brilliant. But the Colour Splash range is a really, really reasonable price. And um, I just want you to know that the colours do come out nice and vibrant. So that's the blue. So do you want to go to the overhead, Simon? Yeah. So look, that's the blue colour. And then we've got the lovely green. That was just the lime green. And then we did latte. And look, you see they've got the feet on. They're not buttered together, but can you see the feet? So they've got feet as well. I'm going to show you how to make these the easy way. The recipe's gone on the website tonight. I know you've all been waiting for the recipe, but believe me, I started work at 8 o'clock this morning. Are we going back to this camera? I started work at 8 o'clock this morning. I actually thought I'd be in the kitchen here playing this afternoon, and I actually didn't get in the kitchen till 10 past 7. Karen was here before me. So <laughs> that's how my day's gone. I've been sat next to the computer all day. Um, so are we ready? Karen, can how's I it going? It's got a lovely orange, but can I have your phone? Because mine makes a beeping noise yes. and made a comment. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. I've got to learn how to take that noise off. Yep, there you go. And I haven't got my hearing aids in, so you're fine. Thank you. So um, how are we doing anyhow? Have we got any comments coming up? 
they were all saying hi, 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 hi. We've got any newbies on? Any newbies on? I've seen Dinas is on, so good, good oh, morning, yeah. Dinas. Sorry. Yes, hello, Dinas. Actually, it's just about a bit of time for it now. Yes, it will be. So say hello, let us know where you're from, and if you want to ask any questions, Karen will answer them for you. But I'm going to go through this recipe nice and slow. Um, on Monday, I don't, don't feel as though I had my sparkle, but I'm back to my sparkly self now. Yes, and um, I'm back to my sparkly self now, and we are going to do it nice and slow for you. So let me just get all these out of the way. So remember, there's a bundle deal, 29.99 works out £4.28 a bag, 500 gram bag, white in colour, you can colour any colour you want. Super, isn't it? Let me put those there. So I've already, to save time, I've already pre-weighed the mix. And we're also going to make meringue kisses. You won't have spotted these yet, but look at these. On the overhead, Simon. So we've got a lovely bowl of meringue kisses there. So I'm going to show you how to make these as well. These are lovely, I can't stop eating them. I'm never ever going to be slim. Seriously, we've always got that many nice goodies in the kitchen. And this is made with exactly the same mix. What I do want to tell you about our, um, our uh, whipping it up. We'll get Simon on the front camera. So what I do want to tell you about the whipping it up, just so that there's no confusions, we brought this out as a multi-mix. We didn't bring it out as just a meringue mix. We didn't bring it out as just a Swiss meringue mix. We didn't bring it out just as a biscuit mix. We brought it out as a multi-mix, i.e. you can use it for multiple uses. And so far we've shown you loads and loads of things and, um, and we're, we're working on other things as well. So it's great. So you can make a roulade, a pavlova. We're gonna make the meringue kisses. What did you make with it, Karen? Fluff, I've marshmallow. Made, I've made, I've made, I've made Fluff tea was cake. an accident, wasn't ah, it? <laughs> it? But then, then we perfected it. Yeah. So I've made the, the tea cakes, we've made the whipping it up worlds, we've yeah. made moose, biscuits. Exactly. Yeah, loads of things that you can make with it. So all the recipes are on the website, including the macarons, yeah? All right then, so uh, let's see what we're going to do here now. So first of all, we're going to use 250 grams of the whipping it up. So this has been pre-weighed out. Because it's a meringue mix, make sure your bowl is lovely and clean. Yeah, so we're going to use 250 grams of that, as I've just chucked it all over myself. <laughs> and you get to wear a dark colour. Right? <laughs> I thought I'd switch back to so everyone could see, so you can see it. Well done, Simon. And um, after being super duper organised, I haven't got any water, so just one second. You know what, I'll put the jug up there. <laughs> so we've got loads of people that they've, uh, they've tuned in from all over the British Isles oh, and from across the pond because Danaz is there as well. So yeah. yeah, we've got everybody everywhere. Brilliant. So say hello, let us know where you're from and let us know how you know about us. So the water that we're going to put in is 100 grams, okay? So 100 mils. So I'm just going to wait 100 mils of water. Yeah, don't weigh 100 grams, weigh 100 mils. Okay, I'm going to put that in and then we're just going to get the mix wrong. So I'm not sure if you can see the mixer there. Probably not, so that will bring it over. Don't forget to like and share. Yep, yeah, don't forget to like and share. Um, tonight there's a prize draw of £25 voucher, or you can have the full range of the whipping up range. It's entirely up to you. So we'll get the mixer on. Put it on slow, don't put it on fast. If you put it on fast, you'll end up with a big cloud burst. So just get it on slow while it all incorporates. So who's been making the macarons already? Because quite a lot of you have private messaged me. Quite a lot of you have been doing it on the group anyhow and you're all really pleased with them. But I have mentioned on the comments that I have adjusted it slightly. So how I've adjusted it is, um, on Monday I actually told you to use 215 grams of almonds. But I've reduced it now to 180. 180 is more than enough. And that's where I felt that it was, um, I wouldn't say grainy, but you know, you could just see like the almonds on it. So I brought it down to 180 and they're absolutely perfect. You also need 50 grams of icing sugar. Now we're using the flavoured icing sugar. So this is not 50 grams of whipping it up. This is 50 grams of icing sugar. So we're using them um, flavoured icing sugar. And what flavour are we on in here, Karen? It's black cherry, isn't it? 
so, so we've got 50 grams of black cherry. But if you want to use plain icing sugar, that's absolutely fine, okay? So that's 250 grams of whipping it up. And we're going to whip that up. Right, okay. So let me get this whipping up first. So we're going to have 250 grams of whipping it up in the machine with 100, 100 mils of water. And it's just tepid water, okay? Not hot, not cold, just tepid water. That's going in the mixer and we're going to mix it up so it's a nice meringue consistency, okay? Then we've got 180 grams of sieved almonds. Now normally I would put these in the mixer and blitz them a little bit. But I haven't got a blitzer at the moment, so we've just had to sieve them. Did you sieve them twice, Karen, or once? I only sieved them once. Yes, yeah, so she sieved them once, which is fine. And 50 grams of either flavoured or plain icing sugar. If you're going to use flavoured, make sure you use the same as what's in your bowl, okay? So this is thickening up. So what is feet, okay? Well, when you get a macaron, you need to have little feet. And the best way I can show you there, can you see on the camera, Simon? Yeah. Yeah, it's little feet. And also, yeah, yeah. yeah that would be great. Yeah. So, and then what you do is we're going to make some Swiss meringue buttercream and we're going to put it between the two. Yeah. Now, also, the other thing as well, if they crack across the top, you've got a problem. Or if they're too smooth, they're not right either. So, these are absolutely perfect. They're lovely and they taste delicious. And we've got this lovely green. Look. Little feet. So, the feet is this little foamy bit here. And then we've got little latte ones. They've got feet as well. So how cool is that? So the mix is in the mixer. We want to get it up nice and thick. And we want to whip this up until it's firm, okay? I'm going to say firm, stiff feet. That's what we want. A little bit of noise going on, but don't worry. So when you get that in, you really do need to um, cut up your um, greaseproof paper as well which I'll show you in a minute. And if you've got any silicone mats, you can use silicone mats. But I like putting the greaseproof paper over the mats and piping that way. Some people like to draw circles onto their um, greaseproof paper, turn it over. I can't be bothered with that, it's too much hard work. So I'm just gonna keep this going. Any questions, Karen? Yeah, Might have to come over here and shout a bit. Sorry, asking about what's the on the website? Yes, so on the is. website, yes. Uh, we're all saying hello from everywhere. Uh, we've got quite a few new people watching us. We've got hello to all Yay. our newbies. Fantastic. So hello newbies. So like and share. We've got a £25 gift voucher. And I think what I'll do tonight, because it's the macarons and I'm so pleased to do it, I'm going to do four prizes of £25 gift vouchers. Ooh. So that's just for tonight. So get liking and sharing. Share it with your friends. Share it with your friends, friends. Share it on your page. Oh, share it on your like cakey page. Well, right, so. okay. <laughs> so share it everywhere. Message everybody. Say, hey, get over here and watch Carol that sugar and crumbs. So that's four individual prizes of £25 or four packs of seven whipping it up. So that's just for tonight's live, okay? So, and Yes, well the meringue kisses are amazing and as you just heard there, Fiona's made them. Fiona who? Fiona McKinnon. Fiona McKinnon? McKinnon. McKinnon has made them and they're lovely, they're so light. They, they are really, really delicious. I was going to decorate a cake with meringue kisses tonight, but because so many people asked me to make the macarons again, we'll have to leave this till next week. But these are gorgeous. So let me just check this now. We're all loving the split screen, Simon. There we go. So let me just see there. Oh, can we see in the camera? Yep. Yeah. So it needs to be stiff peak. Yep, yeah, that's where we're at. Do you want to go to the front? Or is I can see it. You've got me in the camera as well, haven't you? Yeah, but we could show that. Yeah, one. stiff peak. Dead simple, isn't it? You couldn't get any easier than that. All you've had to do is put the mix in and put the water in. How easy. And beat the living daylights out of it. No faffing around with cracking eggs. No worrying about whether your eggs are fresh or not. No worrying about whether um, what you're going to do with your egg yolks. No worrying about anything. And the good thing is, with this being powdered egg that's in here, it's safe for pregnant women, which is absolutely brilliant. So let me just get this off. 
so there's no allergens with our product either it's completely nut free and um, it's suitable for uh, dairy um, and it is suitable for vegans okay uh, not vegans vegetarians not suitable for vegans and it's white in color so let me just get this off and move the mixture out of the way right Karen we've got less noise now so feel fire away <laughs> girl fire away can you mix it without the standing mixer could you use your yes, hand mixer can use a hand mixer absolutely you just got to stand there a bit longer but absolutely hand mixer or even one of those blitzy things what do they call it it's like a long one you have it for your milkshakes yeah it, that takes longer as well the hand blender the hand blender yeah like the hand blender thing yeah, yeah. Yeah, can mix it with that. No, don't, don't try doing it by hand, though. You'll never get there. And Geraldine, it's definitely not vegan. It's definitely not vegan. That was my mistake. Sorry, I meant to say vegetarian. Simon, are you yawning already? No. <laughs> no that wasn't me. So here now, I put in 180 grams of ground almonds. Now, we haven't sieved these, okay? Uh, we haven't blitzed these in the blitzer. We've only sieved them, and they've only been through the sieve once. And then I'm going to add in 50 grams of flavoured icing sugar. So this is not whipping it up. This is flavoured icing sugar. But if you want to use plain icing sugar, do. But make sure you sieve the icing sugar. Just pop it together. And what we're going to do is, this mix makes an absolutely massive portion. So what we're going to do is, once we've uh, mixed it all together, we're going to split it between three bowls, and then we're going to make three different colours. So you can see how easy it is to colour. And then the first thing we do is, we now get the meringue, and we just put half the meringue mix in. Just half for first. Get your cloth because you don't want your balls slipping all over your top. Hello. Good morning. I mean, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so, John's... Just got off. <laughs> so John's arrived in the building. Hi, John. Hello. Hi, everyone. So all you do now is you fold this in. Do not whip it in. Do not mix. Just fold it in. And make sure you get it all incorporated. So can you just explain to Annette again why you sieve your almonds? And because you want to get out, almonds have little bits of skin on them. So even though they've been um, grounded at the factory to have ground almonds, they still come with little bits of um, skin on them. So you sieve them and get them out. And you want them fine anyhow. And you're using colour gels tonight, I aren't am, you? yeah. So we've just got half the mix in, so we're just folding it in. That's a quick visit from John there. Do we all know what that was about? <laughs> I just came to, to see we were all here working out. He's actually on the night shift, but uh, he's not one for working the night shift. So he, he has been in work since 8 o'clock this morning. He went off to work, and then he just keeps popping back. <laughs> it was about four visits a day we get. So we get the rest of the mix. So those of you who are scared of making macarons, don't be. I have been scared to death. And I have to be honest, the traditional way, I have made them and they've been a roaring success. And then the next time I've made them and I wanted to show them off, they've been an absolute disaster. So there we go. Just take your time, relax. I got Karen making them yesterday because I said to Karen, come on, Karen, you need to know how to do it as well. And uh, you quite enjoyed it, didn't I you? She it. actually made all them there. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. Uh, because I've made it the old-fashioned way, and what a faff. Yeah. But making it this way, it was great. Just easy, isn't it? So we've got everything out there. So if you blitz your almonds, would you still have to sift them? Yes, because of the shells. Yeah. yeah, you won't get rid of the shells just by blitzing them. And you don't want them. You don't want a little crunch, do you? So no, sorry, we, we don't sell the smiley spatula. No, we'd love to sell the smiley spatula. I used to many years ago. Um, the only time I saw these, the smiley ones again, was when I was in uh, Las Vegas. And there's a shop, a cookery shop, and I tell you, I bet Dinas would know the name of it. They sold them in there. But I used to sell these years ago, and we just didn't sell them. They were like, they were like seven ninety five a spatula, and nobody wanted to pay that amount of money. But now that you're all interested, um, I've got in touch with the company and they just don't sell them anymore. 
So they're so similar with like holes yeah. in the handles, but the handles are thinner. These are really good. And I put these in the dishwasher, which is so bad. You're not meant to put them in the dishwasher at all. But they've been going in the dishwasher now. I probably have this one now about five years, six years. Sam, is there any chance you could open the door, please? Oh, no, we're having a hot flush <laughs> one of my hot flushes. Can you see how red I've gone? Millie's pink is my board. Simon, could you just yes, do it Simon. ASAP? I can do, yes. Yeah. If you were me at the moment, you would know how important speed is. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't be having to throw a glass of All water. those ladies who have fl <laughs> flushes are feeling for me right now. It yes. comes up, doesn't it, ladies? It just hits your chest and it yeah. just bursts out your head. And then you want the door open now. I need the door open now. <laughs> yeah. I say it to John sometimes, just John, just get the door open. <laughs> he looks at me, why don't you do it yourself? But I think by the time I've actually got there myself, I don't know, I will have exploded. <laughs> right, so we've now incorporated all the almonds and that's the important thing. So you see how I'm lifting up the whisk? So then this is the next important thing that you have to do, okay? Get your bowl on the side and then bring all the mix round the bowl. So just keep... The thing is, when you've whisked it, you do have air bubbles. We don't really want air bubbles, but we also don't want it flat either. So this is all we're doing is we're just taking out some of the air bubbles. Scrape it back down again. And this is very important. Yes, yeah. don't miss this step. Don't miss any other steps. Just take it when you're doing these as something therapeutic. And you've got to go around your bowl 10 times. I drove Karen mad yesterday because I counted. So, and I've not counted, but I think this is my second time round the bowl. So go round the bowl. It's good workout for your bingo wings, Liz. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. So round the bowl, that's two. Scrape it all down. Doesn't matter which way you scrape it down. Take it all back, fold it over, and then start again. So we're now on three. Debbie said you're having a power surge with your heat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm freaking having something. Tell me, can you see how, how, you see how on fire I am? <laughs> well, you know, the lady said it's like an electric fire warning oh. from the inside. <laughs> Tell you. But then the mad thing is, you go freezing cold, don't yeah, you? And I, I, I can't, I'm shaking like a leaf and everything. John's going like, for God's sake. It's like I'm going to bed at night time with a duvet and a rug on and the heating. Now, how does that work? And then I'm really hot in the middle of the night and I kick everything all off again. So yeah, so I scrape it all down. So we're now going round for number four. So just really nice and neat. I was watching Karen yesterday because the first time I did this, I had it all over myself. And then I watched <laughs> Karen yesterday. She had it all over herself. I was like, uh, Karen, can we just try and keep it in the ball? <laughs> so there, I'm going to keep doing this now. We'll just take our time. Feel free to ask any questions. I'm very confident about this. So, and who loves macarons? So we've showed you how to make macaroons and we've showed you how to make macarons. So we're now on number six. So just take your time, there's no rush. How much pressure do you use when pressing on the side? Well, to be fair, that's a bit of a difficult one. I'm not pressing it hard, I'm just scraping it up the bowl. But obviously there's some pressure because I'm having to hold the bowl. But I'm not trying to flatten out these bubbles, I'm just trying to get rid of a few of them gently. You sort of gently scrape it up, don't yeah. you? Yes. And I have to tell you, this method is by Claire Corbett. Now, I don't know this, if this is the way you should do macarons, but this is how she does it. So when I um, had a go with this the other day on Monday, and I said to Karen, because as you know, I was upset on Monday, and I said, right, that's it, I'm coming in the kitchen, and I'm staying here, and we're going to master it. So we're going up to number seven. So um, I said, you know what, I'm going to watch Claire's video on how to do it with egg white, and we're going to follow her method. So I was telling her on the phone today, I rang her today. And uh, that's funny, isn't it? I actually messaged her this morning. And she's just had a baby, a baby's just turned one. She said, I'll ring you back after sleep time. Rings me back at half six tonight. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I know those days. So, anyhow, so, uh, and I was telling her that I was using her method, so she was pleased. And she said it's a very easy way for people to understand to do it. So I very much appreciate it. It gets good results as well. Yes. I think it makes really good results, that. Yeah. Now, someone's asking, how many macarons do you get approximately? But it's loads. Loads, isn't it? Listen, we've had that ball. Did we also have the pink ones out of there that have been scoffed? We had loads. And I can't even tell you how many we've had. It's disgustingly bad. <laughs> we, um, Simon has come in and helped himself to a fair few. But we did, um, I took a picture of all the ones that we did out of the batch. 
yesterday and some pink ones as well. Yeah. So am I on number eight? I think I am, aren't I? Yeah. Who's counting? I'm sure that was number eight. I'm sure it was because you've been talking, you went round again, so yeah. Um... So we're going for number nine now. And the reason you're doing this, you're waiting for the mix to slide back down the bowl itself. And it's, it's sliding now. So like when I first did this, it was stiff. So you're waiting for it to slide. And I don't know whether you can see it sliding. I'm just watching it there on the camera. Just starting to now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. It is well, sliding together. I think he says that next one's number eight. No, no. Has <laughs> she miscounted? It's, it's, it's either, this is either, def I'm on number 10, so she thinks we're on number 8, but then we're on number 9 then. Because <laughs> I feel that we missed one. <laughs> and how long do macarons keep when you've made them? You can keep them for weeks and you can freeze them. I had to check the other day, because on Monday you were asking, and I've got to be honest, I knew you could freeze them, but I couldn't remember what you had to do to freeze them. So if you're going to freeze them, put them in um, a Tupperware container or a plastic container, but between layers put a piece of greaseproof paper, okay? Because if you, if you do it all on top of them, they'll just all stick together. So just make sure you put layers of greaseproof paper between them if you're going to freeze them. Can you use a metal bowl if you don't have a glass bowl? Yeah, you can. I'm just doing this so you can see. So we're on number 10 now, last one. Can you order this mix in Belgium? Uh, we can get it to you in Belgium. At the moment, because of COVID, we actually stopped the deliveries to Europe. But if you go to, a, um, if, you, if you email us to info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com and ask Laura to give you a shipping price for Belgium and we can get it there. I've just sent some stuff to Spain this week and it got there very quickly. Can we use something other than almonds if they don't like almonds? Yes, you can. You can use semolina. What was the other things that you could use, Karen? Polenta. Polenta. And I think they said ground, coconut. Ground coconut. Ground coconut. Ground, ground coconut. coconut. Not, not yeah. desiccated, it has to yeah. be ground yeah. coconut. Coconut yeah. flour. So I don't know whether you That's can see thing. this. Pardon? Ground coconut, no. same as coconut flour? I think it is the same thing, but I'm not sure. Right, so can you see this now? See, look, it's moving. So you should both see how it's moving in the bowl. Yeah. So look, just show you again. And it wasn't moving when we started, but can you see it's moving now? Yeah? Yeah. So on Monday, I just showed you the white ones, and that was these without any colour. So what we're going to do now is we're going to colour these. Yeah. So we'll just get those out of the way three bowls in and we're just going to divide the mix and colour it between three bowls. So who's scared like me and making macarons and who feels that they could do it this way? And don't forget like and share tonight. Don't keep liking and sharing into my groups, like and share with all your friends, okay? Because a lot of you like and share into my groups, but like and share with all your friends and we're going to do four prizes tonight. So you can either have, win seven bags of whipping it up or you can have a £25 voucher. It reminds me now of this of porridge. And we've got a fly, no it's a wasp, that's just come in. No, coconut flour's got the oil removed, so it's not the same. I wasn't sure. Right. Yeah, just Mr. Google's just told me. Right. So would that, that doesn't mean you, it wouldn't work, though. So you could use it. Don't know. Somebody don't said know. the other day they could use it, but I don't know. Well, I can only tell you about the um, almonds, but I can only tell you the others is what other people said. I haven't yes. tried it ourselves. Oh, but it might be a good idea that we did try it, Karen. I'll see if I can find some Sure, why don't you put it on your shopping list for tomorrow? So we want polenta, some of the... Do you use semolina, do you think? They did say semolina. Yeah. did say semolina. Right, okay then. So we're going to colour these. So we've got three of these here, and I'm using the colour splash range. So we're going to go for a dark red, a hot pink, and a pale pink. Yeah. And trust me to get the uh, empty tube. Just one second. I mean, that needs to go in the bin. That's that the other day. But let me just get another colour splash red. Half 
you know. Pardon? My list isn't half growing. Yeah. Right. Karen goes shopping every morning before she gets into work. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> not for her. <laughs> okay. So again, once you pop your colour in, I'm going to go for the pale pink for this one. So what's the feedback back? Who's scared of making them? Quite a few have been scared, but the, uh, a few, uh, quite a lot of now have already bought the whipping oat ready to have a yeah. go. Yeah, and they're delicious. They're so yummy. We're going to make some Swiss meringue buttercream to fill them with as well. So again, don't mix this, just lift it. So just fold it and just lift the colour in. Yeah, so it's all incorporated. So we're going to do a nice baby pink there. So I'm going to get Karen to wash my bowl for me in a minute. Yeah. You've just passed your hot flush on to Michelle Ward. Oh, have I? Yeah. <laughs> Is that Michelle whose birthday is coming up soon? Her big birthday. I think so, isn't it? Next week. I think it is, isn't it, when yeah. one of the classes is on? Yeah. You make it look so easy, they can't wait to try it. I tell you, if I can do it, you can do it. Because you know what type of baker I am. I'm not the professional. So if I can do it, you can do it. And that's why I come on and do these yeah. lives. I do it, and you all know this. You've, know, you've followed me now for four, uh, four years. We're into doing Facebook lives now. And um, this is our fourth year. And, um, you know, it's always been a wing and a prayer with me, hasn't it? And I've always looked at it that, you know, I wanted to promote my shop online to you guys. And the best way I can do it is show you how to use it. Well, I'm not one of those who needs it all prepared and perfectly done. And this is one we made earlier. You know what? Let's crack on. Let's do it. And if we muck up, let's work out how we're going to put it right and make it look half decent. And that's what it's about, isn't it? Because so many of us were in the kitchen on our own and it's heartbreaking when you've got ingredients and you've spent all that time and you muck it up you know it's like cake decorating and um, you know little flowers and butterflies were designed for mistakes they weren't designed for anything else they were designed for mistakes could you just go over what you put in the mix so yeah far? so all i've done so are we talking about the whole mix or the color yeah because somebody's asking about the powdered about sugar and egg whites and quantities but if you okay just go over the whole thing. well we're not using any egg white at all okay this is actually a mix so if you've just joined us we've got a brand new mix called whipping it up okay do you like the name tell me who likes the name that would be great so in this in this one i put color splash red by the way so uh, it's a multi-use pack. We've always brought it out to be a multi-use pack. And when I say a multi-use pack, we haven't dedicated it for one product. We've actually dedicated it to show you can make loads of things. So we launched it showing you that, you know, you can make meringue kisses, you can make biscuits, pavlova. You can make, my daughter's been and made a roulade with it. It actually makes royal icing and that's my next challenge. I've never done royal icing since, oh, in my early 20s. So my next challenge now, we've made the biscuits, is that I've got to decorate the biscuits for you with royal icing. So, um, so all you need to do with this mix is you don't need to buy any egg white at all. It's already in the product. All you need to do is put 250 grams into the mixing bowl, 100 mils of tepid water, mix till stiff peaks. In another bowl, you put in 180 grams of ground almonds, 50 grams of plain icing sugar or flavoured icing sugar, mix them together and then fold in the egg white until it's all incorporated. And then just follow the method that I told you. Egg. Not the egg white, whipping fold in the whipping it up, sorry. So, and then just follow the, follow the method. I've actually put the recipe on our wepi, on our, on our wepipi, <laughs> on our recipe website. Okay. And that recipe website is, there you go. Simon's put it up now. So the recipe website is sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.co.uk. On there, it has all the recipes for using our flavored icing sugars, which is another product. But if you want to use whipping it up, go to the search bar, search whipping it up, or go to the categories, find whipping it up and everything that we've made with whipping it up is in there yeah so let me know if you like the name Simon will shout out if you do so so far it's good now look at those lovely colors there isn't that lovely yeah so for the colors there, I've used color splash and I've used this pink just a little bit for the baby pink a bit more for the hot pink and then I've used Christmas red 
for the red. Yeah? Good. So we get that out of the way. We'll put that out of the way. Happy birthday, Jill Cook. It's a birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Do you want to tell us how old or is it still a secret? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So what I like to do is, you can cook or you can bake on the silicone mats, but I only have one of them. So the easiest way, when you've only got one instead of buying three, and then sometimes they don't fit on my uh, tray properly. So if I show you my tray, so I've got these flat trays, and they dangle off, yeah? And then if I show you this tray, here, then it doesn't fit in, in it properly. So I'm going to show you the way that I use it. Yep. So, so then like if you do that then, you push it in the tray, you're going to have all scrunched up meringues, aren't you? So what we're going to do is, we're going to do it this way. So we're going to get the mat. Yes, we do sell the small spatulas, we're just waiting for them to go right in the supplier. Yep. They fly out though. So they do fly out, so I've got more on the way. Right, so I just cut my uh, greaseproof paper, the same size as my pan. I'm going to lie that on there. Now, if I was going to make the same batch or the same colour, I'd use these big bags, because these bag big bags are perfect for it. But because I'm dividing the mix uh, into three, I'm just going to use the smaller bags. Okay. Let's put it over my hand. You can use a cup for this if you want to, but... I just like using my hand. We love the name as well, absolutely. Whipping it up. It's a great yes. name, isn't it? It's really funny. I started off a group text, a group, and I said to everybody in the group, it, all the people I invited into the group, what do you want to call this product? In fact, I'm going to have to do it this way. Just let me get um, um, yeah, it. It's here. You that it's right. um, I was just going to say I'll do it this way. It's fine. So, um, so I said, what name should we call it? And as fast as I opened this little private group yeah. and asked everybody, do you remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. I said, what do you think of this name? I don't know, it just came to my head. I said, what do you think of this name? And I, I think there was 10 members in the oh, group no. and we all went, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, and we all sending suggestions back and then you said, what about that? And we went, within five minutes, you had the name. It was yeah. great. And I was like, you know, it's great because we can do it. We're, we're going to whip up a meringue and we're going to whip up a roulade and we're going to whip up some biscuits. <laughs> so, and now we're whipping up macarons. <laughs> so, so I don't want to take you away from the uh, flavoured icing sugars. I'm just giving you an alternative for you to use to make it easier for making your meringues and everything. So let's push and the everything mats down. Back in stock, Harold. The maps are back in stock. So now, you only need to buy one, because the way I'm going to show you... Now, I do know there's ladies who, you know, they get a nozzle and they draw around the nozzle. To me, to, to have to stand there and get a pencil and draw around would drive me insane. And if you do draw around, whether you use a pencil or ink, if you're using an edible pen, that's fine. But if you are drawing around, you need to turn it over. Yeah? But I like it this way. So no nozzle in the bag. Make sure you only cut a little hole, okay? So we don't want it cut up here because it's going to come flying out. So we just want it, so it's about three mils. And I don't know whether Simon can see that. Well, you're on that, can't you? No. Yeah, can you see that hole there, how tiny it is? Uh, it looks about ten mil from here, but... I... There's always one, isn't it? No, no. How well, big it's is not... it? How big is it, Carol? It's the size of a pea, looks like. Yeah. It's Is bigger. It? It's bigger than three mil, but I did mean across. So by the time we've gone round in a circle, yeah. it's about six to eight mils now. Right. Okay. Right. I was. I was caught in like we're up there across. Okay. Right. Okay. There's always one, isn't there? Clever fox. So then, what we're going to do now is we're just going to, and it's dead easy. Just squeeze. So squeeze, 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 squeeze off. Squeeze, 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 squeeze off. Sque Those girls who know me know I like to have a little champ. <laughs> so this one is squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yes, off. We just looked at each other and thought, what's the Squeeze, 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 <laughs> off. <laughs> I won't say it anymore. But if you follow me on a regular basis, you know I have these little champs. So it just helps me remember things. So uh, there we go. Isn't that red gorgeous? And you're going to see these come out of the oven. Nicky says, do we just want to slap his legs? <laughs> yes, we do want to slap his legs. <laughs> Often. Legs. Right. Yes. <laughs> Often. 
Having said that, he does come up with some cracking ideas. Yeah, he did. He, I mean, he, he, did, he did about the butter with the with his with Swiss meringue. Yeah. So, you know, we've got to let him off some. And then he's come up with all our new equipment. Yeah. He's come up with it so good, no bugger knows how to use it. Oh, sorry. Even me. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know how to use it now. So he's now secured a job for life. Yeah, and I'm holding the company to ransom. And, and he can't have any leave. <laughs> <laughs> can't, have any, <laughs> can't go on holiday anymore, unless we are. <laughs> do get unlimited brews, though. Yes, he, he do. does. <laughs> and I give him the bit. I'm looking for. I'm looking for a six pint mug for him. <laughs> yeah. Just so you don't have to walk backwards and forwards so often, that isn't it. <laughs> It's a good job he drinks uh, decaffeinated coffee, otherwise he'd be as high as a kite, seriously. Yeah. He'd be really hyper. So we're just going to do this. So, so how are you liking this? Are you enjoying this? I'm loving it. Right, so I'm going to fill my next bag. We don't want to waste them, so we may as well fill the next bag. So I want to see these all over our our uh, page tomorrow so on the page where you are now on the community group whatever group you're in share them so we've got four prizes tonight so you can either have seven bags of whipping it up or you can have a 25 pound voucher whichever you want that's providing you win that is. so we're going to do four and we'll draw them in the morning for you i don't know why i've done that ball over there stretching Website. Yeah. I've just been to have a look now. Yeah, it is in stock. I've just ordered them. They've gone in. And the good thing with this mat, mat as well is, I'll show you in a minute, but it's double sided. So you've got the bigger macarons on the other side. So I think I might do the big ones afterwards. Right, so squeeze it down. Cut our three mil. No, no one could see that, Carol. I can't no, well, I can't cut it on top of the macarons, can I? Oh, that's true. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So then what we do then is get our tray and then we're just going to, just one second. Oops, the daisy. Don't do that. I haven't given myself enough room here. Just one second. There we go. How easy was that? Did you see that? So we're now on the tray. Yeah. So this macaron mat, look at that. Two sides. So you've got the really big ones, which are great if you want to do the big meringues. And we're going to do big meringues next week. So if you want to do the, you know those um, big uh, meringue puffs that you get? You do two big ones and you put them together with cream in the middle and all that. Um, and we'll get Karen to do that um, stuff that she made the other day. What was it called? Creme pet. Oh, creme. It's yeah. called pastry cream. Pastry cream. Whatever it is. Right. So you won't want to listen to this, but you're going to watch me now be a bit of a twit. But there you go. Simon, mute. We're back. Needed to be silent because I don't really want to burst your ears. Yeah. Now what this does is it helps get out any little air bubbles. So if you see any little bubbles now, and I can just see one, just pop it. We can see your head. Sorry. And I think that's it. You can move across here if you like. Yeah, that's done. Now, they don't go in the oven now. So the oven is on 150. So you don't put them in the oven now. What we're going to do is we're going to do the rest of these and then we're going to leave these to set and we should be able to touch them. Yeah, so we should be able to touch them without getting anything on our fingers. So I'm just going to put them down there. So 
So Michelle said, Michelle Mackridge, she said she tried it us today, yep. but it spread out and almost became one big macron. What's she done wrong? She's either done too much liquid and probably overbeaten. And there's a possibility I might have overbeaten. I'm a bit worried myself, to be fair. So you know when I did 10, I might have actually done 11. So, but we'll see how we go. You know what I'm like, we go live, I don't hide nothing. Show you how it is. So you just rest them until they crust over. Yeah. Carol's using the Colour Splash uh, gel range. Yeah. I like all the colours, but this one's just a really good value price. There's nothing wrong with I use Fractal. Fractals are great for vegans. So and uh, and Pro Gel is as well. That's suitable for a vegan diet. This isn't the, the uh, Colour Splash. But I just use it because it's just really very reasonable. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So don't forget to like and share. What you do is after the bit after the lives ended, you can go back to the Facebook page and press like and share it, it too. Because some of them said they can't share it, all they can do is like it and then Ah right, okay, yeah. You do have a little share thing though, a, a little share arrow on the bottom of your page there. Right, let's get another bag. Baby pink in. I must admit, I was trying to, my son was doing a live the other day, and I was trying to share his, I was having nightmares with it. And also, you can only put these in the oven one tray at a time as well. And they only cook, they cook for 10 minutes. Why, why only one tray at a time? No idea. I'm following Claire Corbett's method. And she no. says only one tray at a time. You know what, Simon? You know, you know what I would do, Carol? Go on. You'd be a devil and I'd put two in. I'd be a devil and put three in at a time. <laughs> if I had three shells that here. And it'd that is why it. you're on the canvas. <laughs> well, it might be worth a go because we're going to have three trays yeah. here, aren't we? So what I'll do is we'll put, we'll put these two in single. We'll put the third tray in underneath. Yes, they can just be frozen once you've baked them. Yeah, they can. Yeah. If you're going to freeze them, just make sure you put them in a, a plastic container and then make sure you layer each layer with greaseproof paper. If you don't, when you come to defrost them, they'll have stuck together. Isn't it lovely, the colours? Yes, Karen. Yeah. Karen's not answering so no, Well, go wait for the 30 second delay, Simon. Oh, that's a 30 second delay to 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 open there. Karen, there is. <laughs> She's saying you're well. slow, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> you're so rude. <laughs> right, let's get another tray. And Michelle said you're a rebel. He is. <laughs> Cheeky. We settled well in here, though, hasn't he? Eh? <laughs> How long have you been here now? Right. Simon, are we ready for the uh, mute? Okay, we're going yep. down. There's actually no bubbles in there, I don't think. So Carol's got the oven on 150 degrees C, which is gas mark two. Yeah. So let me put this to one side. The recipe is on the website. Simon, pop up the recipe website. I'll just start it straight away. Take a look at that. It's brilliant. It's the first thing that comes up. Is it? Yeah, when you put recipes in, it's the first one that comes up. Ah, right. Okay, then. Right. We'll go again. Finish these off, we may as well use them all. Do 
This can be our rebel one. This can go in the oven. Oh, I don't know whether it'll ruin the top ones. We'll see. So I'm following the method of Claire Corbett. And then I'll have to ask her, why, do, why can they go in singly? So we're going to make some meringue kisses in a moment. drop out haven't we? He's a bit of a dodgy one then. Have a look, mix them together on that one. You're going to risk putting them like 11 macrons in with one of the other. No, I'm not going to risk it. They can wait. Right, tray. You ready? Okay. Have you got this now? How many times? Yeah. And we're back. And we're back. Don't know what my neighbours must be thinking that's going on in here. <laughs> Door <laughs> wide open. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't if you don't want to freeze them, how would you store them, Carol? Hey? If you don't want to freeze them, how would you store them? Store them in an airtight container, again with layers of um and again with layers of uh, greaseproof paper on. I think they're stored for about three weeks, to be fair. But they won't last that long. Seriously, they're that yummy. Every time you walk past you'll go, you'll want one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make some meringue kisses, okay? Now these take a little bit longer to cook in the oven. So what we're going to do is we're going to bake those, we're going to make the meringue kisses, we'll pipe them, I'll show you how to bag them, but I think by the time the live is done, I'm not actually going to be able to show you, I'll have to show you a pitch afterwards because they take 45 minutes and to bake. And then to let them cool down. And then we have to let them yeah. cool again. So what I can do is just show you how to make them now. And then we're going to store these in a container because next week I'm going to use them to decorate a cake for you. Yeah? And these are absolutely delicious. They really are. Yeah? So we need an ice cream bowl again. So Karen has washed it already. And we're going to have 250 grams of whipping it up. So let's measure it out. Look this one that's open, aren't we? We're going to do salty caramel ones. Mm. And I'll show you those when they've crusted over because I've just touched one now and it's still tacky. So, oh, that'd be a good idea if I weighed it. I'm just thinking that. Has <laughs> it actually got down there? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so how's our audience doing? Where are people from, Karen? Well, we've got them from down down south, we've got them from um, Ireland, we've got them up north, we've got them in Scotland, we've got them across the middle. Well, I'm going to Ireland, actually, in um, August for two and a half weeks, so I intend to be taking this with me and practising while I'm there. So if any of you are in Donegal, give me a shout. Why do my kisses crack? My kisses haven't cracked. No, why do my kisses... No! <laughs> This is what Michelle says, why do my kisses crack? I have no idea. <laughs> you might have taken that the oven too soon without letting them go cool. Do you know what? I was laughing with Karen yesterday because we're going to do afternoon tea in the groups. And um, I went to put some pictures up and I don't know if Simon remember taking these because he's, he's been our photographer for seven years now. And my son was appalled that I'd put these meringues up and... Um, put these meringues up and macarons that I'd made with the flavoured icing sugars and uh, kisses and they all had cracks in them. But it didn't bother me because they tasted great. I was quite happy with it. Well, my son's a chef and uh, he's going, Mum, you cannot have them on your website. And I'm like, why? What's wrong with that? They're gorgeous. And he went, Mum, they're just not right. <laughs> and then I was looking at them yesterday when I was choosing some of the pictures for, for the afternoon tea that we're gonna do, the event that we're going to do. And I thought, it's absolutely right. <laughs> so we've got Devon, 
Wales, Cornwall, Middlesbrough, North East Lincolnshire, Kent, Rossendale, ah, well Yankee in Hampshire, Richfield, Wiltshire. Oh, <laughs> oh, the whole country's watching us. That's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So we're putting 100 mils of water in, just tepid water. If you get 101, 102, 103, it doesn't really matter. So that was 250 grams of whipping it up. It was, and we're using salted caramel now. We're going to put 100 mils of water in. What are you making here, Carol? Meringue kisses. She's listening, Simon. I wasn't sure she was making the buttercream. And we're making the buttercream afterwards. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got Swiss meringue buttercream to make yet. To glue, glue these together. That's what he's eyeballing him. He's ate that many plain ones. He now wants them with Swiss meringue buttercream. How many did you go home with the other day? Only the box full. Yeah, took a box full. Work, took a box full yeah. into work. John took a box full into work. John was funny because we kept them in the fridge overnight. And then he forgets everything, John. He's an absolute nightmare. So I gave him and said, don't forget them. So later on, about an hour after he gets into work, I rang the office. I said, what do you think of the macarons then? He went, what macarons? I went, ask John. Just say this to John. Macarons. There they were. In the box, on the front seat. <laughs> Forgotten them out. Anyhow, they were yummy. They were scoffed. Oh, we've got Elise Daly from New York. You'll say what you Woohoo! Does. That's what we like. So don't forget, like and share. Four prizes tonight we're going to do, because we're doing all about whipping it up. So you can either win seven bags of whipping it up or uh, a £25 voucher. And we'll be doing the draw tomorrow because Karen does her live at half past 11 in the, on a Friday morning. And we're, I'll be in to do all the draws. She doesn't like doing the draws, but I'll come in and do them. I'm just going to turn this up. I'm going to get my piping bag ready. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Of course you can. You can use, um, yeah, use, use just normal buttercream. I was going to say you could use fresh cream, but to be fair, you need to make it very, very thick. Yeah. And you have to eat them very quick then. Well, that'd be exciting then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, I'm not using a nozzle. Don't need to use a nozzle. Do you need to cut some paper? So if we just go to the overhead with these, these are just crusting over, but if you press your finger on them hard, you'll catch them, which I did then. But you just want them to crust over. Now they're still tacky at the moment. They're still tacky at the moment, so they're not right yet. They do have to have a little crust, so about 10 15 minutes, yeah? It's quite cold in here, that's why. Come on, fire me! Look at me! It's very dry as well, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, get a brew. <laughs> you soon get that in, in for a coffee. <laughs> yeah, go and hug the kettle, Karen. So we're just going to whip this up. The noise will stop in a minute because we'll get there. So we want to whip this up to a nice stiff peak. And I am going to get... Hiya, you're back again. You were talking about you, did you? I'm always told I can only whisper across nine fields. <laughs> I don't know what the comments are because Karen's gone on down there now to make a brew. Can't hear nothing, Karen. So, are you liking and sharing? Make sure you like and share with all your friends, all your groups, your dog groups, your cat groups, 
your florist groups, any group that you're in. Share with your mum, share with anybody, okay? So we are doing four prizes tonight because it's all about whipping it up. Um, we're making macarons the easy way. They are really very, very easy. You'll enjoy making them. So we're going to make this and then we're going to make some Swiss meringue buttercream and then we're going to fill the macarons that we've made. And by then, they'll be out of the oven so you can see them. Kenwood. So I use a Kenwood and a KitchenAid. I actually prefer the Kenwood if I'm really honest, but I prefer the look of the KitchenAid. Now we're not right yet because look, we've still got, it's not, see how it's still swirling around, it's wiggly wiggly. It's not holding, so it only needs another minute. I like the look of the KitchenAid. I like the, the retro look and I like the colours. Um, that's, that's why I bought them if I'm really honest. But in, in terms of um, in terms of mixer, I love this. I've got this one and I've got the K-Mix as well. And they're both brilliant. If you're going to buy the K-Mix, buy a steel bowl worm. Don't buy a glass bowl. I wouldn't use a glass bowl with much, really. The glass bowl is better for us, though. For them? Yeah. glass bowl is better for me. Yeah, for you to see. For, for yeah. everyone else to see. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I should have. To be fair, I'll get to see it. Do they do a glass bowl for this one? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Take the light off. 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 It's All right. light. Pardon? It's light. Ah, it's right. right we'll just turn it up a little bit faster. I think we're there now. If you use it for buttercream, does it work with dairy free spreads? If you're going to use our flavoured icing sugars, you can use dairy-free spread. Um, and it's classed as a frosting, it's not classed as a buttercream, because buttercream is with butter. Um, I wouldn't use the whipping it up with dairy-free spread. I haven't tried it myself yet. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but I've not tried it myself. And maybe we should try it, but I, I haven't tried it yet. So, so there we go. I'm quite happy with that. The, diff no. the difference, could you tell somebody, uh, could you tell Julie the difference between orange zest icing sugar and the Jaffa Twist? Please? Oh, I can. One's white, one's brown. <laughs> it's as easy as that. Hang on, just what we're on the bow. Simon, can you look at the camera, please, while you think about it? Oh, I just got confused. <laughs> Where do you want to look? Yeah, there. Right, so Jaffa Twist is actually icing sugar, cocoa powder and orange flavouring, okay, so if you want a chocolate orange flavour, then that's what it is. Jaffa, uh, orange Zest is white icing sugar with, with flavouring, okay, and if you, want to make, if you want to make it chocolate, just add in 35 grams of cocoa powder and then you've got Jaffa Twist, simple as that. We also do chocolate orange, now chocolate orange you have to be careful about, that's not icing sugar, that's cocoa powder and that's used for making your chocolate brownies, your chocolate cake, so do be careful and you can make uh, buttercream with it but you have to add 500 grams of um, icing sugar and 35 grams of the cocoa powder, yeah? So we've got our mix here, it tells you on the back of the packet, so... There we go. So we've got our mix. Where's our colours? So we're just gonna do gonna do a little bit of red into there. I don't know whether you can see it on the overhead. I so can we'll see just, it on the overhead, but yeah. nobody else can. So we're gonna do a little bit of pink in there, sorry. And then let me get some other colours. What other colours should we have? We'll have a little bit of iron green. And I've got blue there, haven't I? And I've got yellow. I'm just thinking of another colour, orange. We'll just do a little bit of uh, green. I need a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. And uh, Karen, sorry, can I get you to cut me some paper, please? Yeah. To the size of the baking sheet. If you cut it to the size of the um, trays. Yeah. Yeah. Have we got any more? There's two trays here, actually, so if you cut it to that, that'd be great. 
Yes, you can buy the, the, the beaters for the um, Kenwood with the rubber panel because I've got one at home. Yeah. So, you see, I've just put, I've just stick my brush in the water there just to loosen the gel up a minute. And then all we're going to do is, so we're here. So that's good here. So what we're going to do here is, and Karen is in charge, pass me a spoon. Okay. So we're just going to do a couple of stripes up the back. That's all. And you can hardly see the colour, do it, but don't worry. You know, you can hardly see it and you think, oh crap, there's nothing in the bag. I'll show it actually. Look, you can hardly see it. Where is it there? And you think, oh, there's nothing in there, but believe me, that's more than enough. So we're just going to get a spoon. I'm going to put the okay, rang mix. Oh, hang sorry. On, on. It's all right, it's all right. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Thank you. Two trays enough. Pardon? Two trays enough. Uh, we might need a few more, but we'll see how we go. So I'm just going to pipe these out, this first one's out, and then I'm just going to check my first rounds. When will the pastel shade of colour splash be back in stock, please? Right, okay, so the pastels. The pastels, or um, I've just put one in stock today. That might have been, um, no, that was the primaries I put in. Basically, it's the supplier. The supplier is out of stock of all the colours, and that's because I've been buying them all. So we've just gone through them all. I can't get them fast enough for you. I've got boxes coming in next week, so they've actually landed in the country. I've spoke to the supplier, bought nearly every box off him that I could possibly could. So that he thinks I'll get them on the 13th. It's what it is, is that you've all gone baking crazy. Every supplier in the UK wasn't expecting it. So now they're struggling like mad to get supplies. So I'm just going to cut the same hole off again, okay? Say, say, do the same cut again. And we're just going to do exactly the same. Now your first ones may come out white. I've been quite lucky here. So what you're going to do is squeeze and pull off. Squeeze and pull off. Squeeze and pull off. Squeeze and pull off. I find this quite therapeutic to do, to be fair. So we're going to bake these, but you probably won't get time to see them. But what I'll do is, as soon as they come out of the oven, I'll, well, I'll take a picture while they're in the oven, and I'll take a picture when they come out of the oven, and I'll post it on the page afterwards. So are you all enjoying this live tonight? Are you all liking and sharing? They're, they're liking and sharing. Some people have shared, made it public. They've shared all over the world. Oh, are they? Yes. Well, we are public because we're, no. we're on the page. No, she's shared it to her, but she's made it public on her page. Ah, right. Oh, okay. Super. So I've done a splod share. That's called mine. Yeah? That's called Cook Street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't ever waste what's in the bag because we'll just do some little ones there. Well, they're not joining with the others. No. It's, um... Sarah's saying, how do you keep the meringues white? How do I keep them white? Yeah, I think it's, I think, because uh, you, you cut them on a low heat, so they don't Oh, burn. yes, yes. Yes. You must only, cook, 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 I'll get my words out in a minute. You must only cook them on a low heat. So you cook them on 120, 45 minutes, then you turn the oven off, and then you just leave them in the oven for a few hours then. Let's carry on baking. Right, okay, so that's the first bag. Let me get a tray. Now you don't bang these, don't think these are meringues, you don't bang these at all, okay? These are meringues. Oh sorry, these are not macarons, don't be banging these. So, uh... Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So let me just put these in the oven because these are ready, the macarons. 
too. Let me just bring them back and show you now. So let me bring them back now and show you. So now when I touch them, where I touched it before and it's smudged, now where I touch it, it's got like a little crust. You can see if you push your fingers in. So they've crusted over nicely now. Yeah? And none of them have touched, have they? No. He spread sideways. Mine could spread sideways in a minute. Another lady said, uh, "Hers are done the same, but they fit the bang their trays too hard." Oh yeah, you only need to be this height. Don't be up here. You need to just be here, and you don't tilt them either when you do it. Do it so it's flat. So you're just there. Yeah, that's all you're doing, like that. Yeah, but don't be up here. Yeah, we don't want that, do we? Oh, that's giving me a nice cool down. <laughs> right. Okay. Did you do me another piece of paper? So macarons are baked in the oven at 100, uh, 150 degrees for 10 minutes. They are. And meringues are cooked in the oven on a gas mat on, on 100 degrees for 45 minutes and then oven turned off and let to go cold. Yeah, 120 there. 120, sorry. Pam. Yeah, that's all right. Anyway. I'll just bring this over here. So this is my little paintbrush. That's what I'll bring that over here. So all I've done, this is just gel, and all I've done is I've just dabbed my brush in water just to loosen the gel. That's all I've done. There's so many people going to be doing macrons and meringues tomorrow. Yeah, I want to see them everywhere tomorrow. So hopefully you're all going to be buying the whipping it up or you've already got whipping it up. Who's got whipping it up already? Because we've sold loads of it. Absolutely loads of it. So who's got it already? Well, somebody must have it. Yeah. A lot of people in here said they've got it and they've had their orders and arrived and they, they, they just can't wait to get cracking. Yeah. And I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to do the macarons. Believe me, I've been waiting for me to do the macarons. Can't tell you anyone who's been more scared to death. It was quite good that I was upset on Monday because I said to Karen, right, that's it. Don't show me any more social media. Don't show me anything else. We're staying locked up in the kitchen, don't we, Karen? Yeah. There we go. Get all out of the way. So Karen's cut this one a bit short. See how we're nice and wide down here. We've missed half of one here, but we'll let her off. <laughs> so no nozzle. You don't need a nozzle. Loads of people have got whipping up. Yeah. And they said they love it. I want to see it all over social media. I want you to share it with everybody. I want you to be able to show everybody how easy it is. And you know what? Make the biscuits. Make the roulade with it. Karen's been on here, showed you loads of things to make with it. The only thing that we need to do now is show you how to use royal icing. And I can you make it into royal icing for you? It's that easy. You only add water. And um, you can you can add, add as much water or as little water as you want, depending on the consistency. Some people like to use the 20-20 method. But um, I've not royal iced for a long time. And when I had royal iced, you just made it into a big... Um, you just made it into royal icing and then you just slapped it all over a cake with a palette knife and just slapped your cake. That was royal icing. Um, I think I do remember doing some swirls and stuff, but now it's all about decorating cookies and things, isn't it? It certainly is. Oh, did I put the timer on, Karen? I, I did. You have. All right, great. So we need some cooling racks out, Karen? I think we've got some there, haven't we? Lisa says she wants to put her pics on Facebook, but her family keep feeding it before she has a chance. <laughs> They're nice, I tell you. It's hard work to try and keep them, believe me. I can't tell you how many I've scoffed. It's so bad. It really is bag? bad. Is hey? that your last bag? No, no, I've got another one here. Right, get that one out of the way. So remember, you don't drop the meringues, okay? The meringue kisses. Hey, 
agree, Jackie, the roulade was amazing. Yeah, the roulade was lo lovely, wasn't it? And Laura made it look so easy to make, wasn't it? It's great when you don't have to faff around with eggs. You know, we all worry about eggs, don't we? And um, them be whether they're fresh enough or not enough. And sometimes people say that you should use a meringue for meringues. Your, your eggs should be out, of the, out and left out for a couple of hours on the top or left overnight. They need to be looser. Right. So that's that one. Have we got another baking tray? Have you still got so some around left? I have. No, just only oh, because oh, I was just going to wash your dish out. All right, do you want to just cut me another piece of paper? Thanks. So we'll just do the last colour and then we'll get on and make some Swiss meringue buttercream. And the Swiss meringue buttercream is so easy and clever clogs behind the camera come up with this one. The one who drinks coffee. <laughs> Thankfully, it's decaf. Thanks, Karen. Otherwise, he'll be skipping around the kitchen with loads of ideas. We have to keep some control of him. So you can keep the kisses for a good, I'd say, a good oh, three weeks. Months, yeah. A good three to four weeks if something's yeah. in an airtight container. Yeah, and you don't put them in the fridge. Just keep them in an airtight container. I'd be surprised if you had any left, if you left them in the container. My son came. When did we make them? On Monday, wasn't it? Yeah. So my eldest son, Wesley, who's 40, he's, um, he's always like on a bit of a health kick all the time. And um, anyway, he turned up and um, he brought a parcel for me. And then he said, um, what's them there? So I said, oh, my kisses. He had one. He scoffed absolutely loads of them. And uh, I, said, I said, do you want to take them home for the girls? So he says, yeah, I think I will. I don't know whether they actually got any, to be fair, if I'm really honest. I came in choosing with... <laughs> Where have they gone? Where yeah. <laughs> yeah, have they gone? I'll just let me clean that there. So we're nearly at the end of this bowl. So I'm going to get um, Karen to wash the bowl yet again, just so we don't have to change mixers, really. Did you put the timer on both of them, Karen? I did. It's took me all these years. I've got timers on the ovens. I've got timers. I've got a timer on my watch. I've got a timer every one on my phone. Never used them until recently. And now I know where they are. I even bought myself a special pink one. Couldn't find it. Found it a few months ago on the chimney. I just happened to be sat there and there it is on the extractor hood. You know, that <laughs> clever place where you would never forget that it is. But I did. So last batch, so then we're going to make the Swiss meringue, Swiss meringue and then we're going to put them together. So those of you who are in my groups, who's doing the afternoon tea? So did you see the calendar of events that we've put up? If you're not in any of my groups, I will share them with you, but I've been keeping everybody uh, busy through COVID and uh, not only am I working like a lunatic, I'm doing classes and um, lots of other events. And uh, so I put the calendar up of events and it took me and Karen yesterday, who made us goggle-eyed, trying to work it out, made a couple of mistakes, forgot a couple of things. So uh, who's put it all in the diary? You realise how dizzy you're all going to be. It was so nice to read some of the comments. Some said it was better to have a nice calendar rather than the kids' calendar. Isn't this green gorgeous that's coming out here? So we've got lots to do. And then we're also moving warehouses as well in amongst it. So we've take, we've got one warehouse, we're taking on a new warehouse, just got the keys tomorrow. So we've got to do all that, so uh, that's all going to be fun. So I'm going to try and fit 36 hours into my day. You usually manage it, Carol. Yeah, of course I can. I don't like sleeping anyhow, do I? <laughs> Why would I want to sleep? <laughs> right, here we go. So isn't that green lovely there? So what do you like? Do you like that idea of doing it with the macaron mat? It's easier, isn't it? And there you go. There's the bigger ones on the other side. If you want to do your big meringues. So we'll put them there. Let me go and take a picture because we've got feet on as well. Where's my phone, Karen? There by the computer. Phone, phone, phone. There. Right. 
So I'm just going to take a picture because then I can post it to you afterwards. Just one minute. They're looking really good. So now we're going to make some Swiss meringue buttercream. So these mats are back in stock. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're doing comments. Aren't you? Sorry, sorry. Scary. <laughs> so this is the easy way of doing it, and we came up with this clearly back completely by accident. So if you've got your Swiss meringue, if you've got your bags now, ignore this recipe on the back. We have printed out of some new labels, so. If we're on the next batch, you might have the correct recipe on, but ignore this recipe. Go to the recipe website. Well, I'm going to talk you through it anyhow. So they're ready, aren't they? Let me just bring these here. This is the two trays. Yeah, do you want to stick the on it? And there we go. Look at that. Little macarons with the feet. I can't show you the feet yet. Now, don't peel them off now, leave them to cool. All right, so don't peel, just leave them because they'll still stick to the paper. So I want you to leave them for about 10 minutes, yeah? I'm going to slide them off this tray in a few minutes. So this tray that is on now, I'm going to leave them on there and then I'm going to slide them off onto the cooling tray, yeah? Right, okay. So, butter, Karen. Do you want to pass me that bowl? So, the, other, the way that we did it was a long winded way, but this way came up completely by accident. You need softened butter. So, when you follow the recipe on the back, um, on the back of this bag, don't do it anymore. But if you want to read the instructions, you'll see that we needed softened butter. Well, we always whip the butter up um, for making Swiss meringue buttercream. Can I have a paddle one, Karen? Yes, there it is. So when we're making, sorry, when we're making our flavoured buttercream with the normal flavoured icing sugars, we always beat the living daylights out of the butter. So Simon quite cleverly said, well, why don't you do that for, the, for this? And we went, no, that's not how you do it. So he said, well, it doesn't make any difference, does it? And it didn't actually. So what we did is we beat the butter up and, um, and then we dropped it in, cubed it in. But Karen, I think it was about two or three weeks ago, she was um, accidentally not thinking because this is the way that she does it for the normal buttercream she was whipping the butter up and then she dropped in um, a whole packet of whipping it up and um, so basically we just decided to go with it i might have the wrong oh no i've got the right one so uh, we thought we'll go with it and see what it's like so that's it that's what we've done and um, karen can i have the water please would you mind sorry so we've pre-whipped the butter now so this is the new way it's far easier so so we didn't have the mixer going for seven minutes we've already pre-whipped it so I'm just going to scrape it out of here. So pre-whip your butter till it's nice, light and soft. Now we've got black cherry macarons, so I'm going to make black cherry Swiss meringue buttercream. cream. Okay, that's fine. That's going to go on there. So I'm just going to turn this on again. So it's just 250 grams, so it's only half a packet. Okay, if you get the new packets, it's though it's for a full packet, but of course you can half it. So we're only using half a packet. So 250 grams of butter. Whip the living daylights out of it. See, whipping it up, whip the living daylights out of the butter. And then we'll get the black cherry. We need 250 grams of the black cherry, whipping it up. There you go. 
for 250 grams. When you get the new recipe, it'll tell you for the whole bag. But all you need to do is half it. To be fair, you need the whole bag if you want to do a 10 inch cake. You want to crumb coat it, coat it again, and then maybe do some decorations. But if you're only just using it for what we're going to use it, just use half a bag. Okay, so we'll turn that off because we don't need that on. Michael's joining us tonight. Michael's always on the Oh, hello, Michael. Here's the man that we want to talk to about royal icing. So there we go. Anything you want to know about royal icing, you ask Michael Lewis Anderson. He is the king of it. So what we're going to do now is we chop in the whipping it up. Just chop it in like you do with your normal buttercream. And I can understand how Karen got confused the other week. But it was a godsend with Simon and with Karen getting confused. There you go. And now I'm confused now when I do normal buttercream. <laughs> Don't know which one I'm putting in. <laughs> so just chop it in. Now the reason I tell you to chop it in is just because we don't want a big cloud burst everywhere. Yeah. So make sure your bowl is nice and clean. Oh, Maureen's use a black cherry icing sugar in Black Forest Gatto with cherry jam. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Is that the flavoured icing sugar yeah, or whipping sounds, it up? That sounds delicious. Yeah. yeah. That was the icing and the flavoured icing sugars, we have 56 flavours when we when we include the winter range and the um, all the other seasons. So they are amazing. They are, deli they are delicious. They're not synthetic flavours. They're all natural flavours. And it's natural flavours that's in here as well. We actually buy the top of the range premium flavouring. We don't buy a cheap flavouring at all. How long does the uh, Swiss brown buttercream last when you've whipped it up? Okay, it? you can pop it in the fridge and you can pop it in the freezer. Now, when you want to bring it back, you must, so I'm just going to put this on slow. When you want to bring it back, you must bring it back to room temperature. That's very important. And don't use it either. Don't think, oh, I can get that out now and put it on my cakes. It will, it will break up. So what you need to do is you need to bring it back to room temperature. You need to then put it back in your mixer and you need to remix again. What will happen is it will probably curdle and break up. And if you put colour in as well, that may break away from it. Do not panic, okay? Now this may sound daft, but start caressing the ball. Yeah? Pardon? Oh, we can have the light on now, can we? Off. Oh, off. Right, start caressing the ball with two hands, okay? Or get yourself a tea towel. Don't know where mine's gone. Okay. There we go. Get yourself a tea towel and just start rubbing it that's all it is just start rubbing it loving it all over warm it up just why it all pulls itself together so that's when you bring it out of the freezer or out of the fridge you just bring it back to room temperature put it in your bowl okay and then you start warming your bowl up so i'm just going to weigh the um water so we need 135 mils of water Tell you, I'm old, me, I can't see. 20 <laughs> seconds. Hey, glasses on, glasses off. There we go. I've coloured my roots in so you don't have to look at my roots. Tell you, we can all go and get our, our nails done this week, can't we? So look at my nails. I'm sure yours are all the same. Oh, Mandy Harvey says she's getting loads of messages from friends who have shared and they're all saying, oh, <laughs> good so then start adding the water just start adding the water slowly and turn the mixer up so it's 135 mils of warm water to be fair tepid cool water is even fine just start adding it just slowly so it's all incorporated don't be frightened is that the next batch of um, macarons out have we got some more um, yeah. coolers out? Cooling racks. Paula's booked in for Wednesday for her nails. Yeah. I've just booked in for mine on Monday. And my hairdresser rang me and said, when do you want your hair done? I said, oh, I'll come today if you like. She said, you haven't got a chance. Next Wednesday, half past six. So. You went all right then. Eh? Yeah. Gone <laughs> <laughs> all this time without it. Managed to hide my roots. I hide my roots. I bought a colour, a powder colour off um, Amazon, and it's great. If you've got grey roots or anything like that, just brush it all in, hides everything. 
And because I've got very thin hair, and you can see my uh, skull, it makes your hair look thicker. Right, so the water is all in now. Right, so meringues are in the oven. So I'm going to turn this up now. So just be careful when you turn it up because it starts spitting out like it is on me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn it off, scrape it down. Scrape it down. Don't worry about the water in there. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn it on to medium speed. Let it all incorporate together. And then we're going to turn it up on full speed. And what will happen is, it'll start getting thicker and thicker. And it's like, it's like, a, it's like curdly, but it's not curdly. And then suddenly it's all going to pull together. I'm just going to go and find a piping nozzle. Just give me a moment. I'll show you these feet on these actually. So this is the second batch that went in. Aren't they lovely, those pink colours? They're lovely, aren't they? So they've got feet on them. Don't try and take them off just yet. Let them cool down. So, so if you start pulling them off, if you start pulling them off now, they need to cool down, yeah? So I've just tried to pull one off, being clever, look, you see it's broke. So just leave it to cool down, absolutely fine. Ooh, I just wanted to see. Yep. But that one that I've just cracked there, look, nice dry feet. Can you see it? Nice dry feet. Yep. I may as well eat it. Right. <laughs> While I was doing that, look, the Swiss Miranda screens come together. So I'll give it a quick turn up. And we're there. How easy is that? So we have Karen and Simon to thank for this. Simon first, then Karen. Look good, aren't we, Karen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Don't give Simon his due because John never John is not interested. He just doesn't get involved at all. But Simon has paid attention to lots of things. And give Karen her due. She sits there thinking about stuff. And I said to her, I said, because um, she now has to do the lives on uh, Mondays and Fridays. And I said to her that yesterday, I said, what are you thinking of? She went, Karen, I'm like, you have no idea, but leave it with me. <laughs> and then you just sort of under panic. I think at the last minute you have a panic and think, I know what I'm going to make. So... So there you go, we've got delicious Swiss meringue buttercream. And this is half a packet. So remember, our bags are large bags. They're 500 gram bags. If you buy them normally, they're, they're, uh, they will be, um, the recommended retail price is 5 99 for 500 grams. We've got them on offer for 4 99 You can buy a bundle of seven for 29 99 which works out at £4.28. So you're making a nice save in there. And also tonight, with liking and sharing, we're going to do four prizes. Oh, so the four prizes is either a £25 voucher or seven bags of whipping it up. And I'm sure you're all going to pick whipping it up. I don't think we've had anyone pick the voucher yeah. yet. They've all picked and whipping it up. Make sure you like and share tonight, yeah. ladies, because it's been drawn tomorrow. Yes, it's been drawn tomorrow. So let me get everything out of the way again. Yes, Carol, I have been thinking about that. <laughs> Carol, <laughs> took, no, about the warm up, wait, uh, sorry, whipping it up worlds. We don't call them though, that other name. Oh, we call them whipping it up worlds. And I have been thinking, but um, uh, I'm not going to do that tomorrow. I think we're going back to basics. We're not allowed to cakes. call it marshmallow. You're not allowed to call it marshmallow fluff because that's actually a registered name. So we can call it fluff. And then we've decided to call it whipping it up walnut girls. Um, I tell you what nozzle I'm looking for, Karen. You know when you had to tidy up? Yeah. The 199 nozzle. Is it a Wilson one? 
Yeah. Do you think it might be in the tent? Oh, yeah. If I only found one, probably, and I put it in the box and went. Right. So we're not going to colour this. So I've got a nice board there. Oops, Daisy. Please tell me that says one ninety nine. Was it the 32? Yeah, it's 199. Brilliant. So, piping bag. I'm out of piping bags, Karen. Why are you there? Grab me one with you, please. What colour one? Just a, a clear one. A clear one. Yeah. Great, I'm an assistant, isn't it? <laughs> Great, I feel very special. Of course. <laughs> uh, I've had to work for this, you know. <laughs> Nearly eight years at Sugar and Crumbs, I've finally got an assistant. Right. John normally comes in when John used to do the lives. I have to set it all up, work all day, set it all up, do a demo for you. He would do the live, and as fast as the live went, he said, right, I'm going to bed now. Leave me with all the cleaning up. <laughs> I don't make Karen clean up at night time after the live. We always say, let's leave it and do it in the morning, oh, don't we? Morning, so we have a quick, we fill up the dishwasher, stack everything, and then we all run off. Right. I'm going to fill my piping bag again. And soon the others will be cooled down, so I'll show you them. Can't pipe them yet because they're too hot. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight's live. I want to see all the groups flooded with macarons this weekend because I don't think I could have made it any easier for you. So all we're going to do is... I love this little nozzle, it's so pretty. And there we go, look. How lovely is that? How, that is gorgeous. Isn't it? Oh, look at Sam eyeing the first one up. Is he eyeing the first one up, is he? <laughs> no, I'm eyeing the second one up. You're eyeing the second one, well, you've got a partial for green, have you? <laughs> <laughs> so, he's not having any until he's taken a photograph. Yeah, the Swiss Marine buttercream is so easy to make. Oh. You've just seen Carol do that. Please yeah. don't be scary. No. Just give it a real good go. the, the original method that we gave you was scary, but Karen and I had just mastered everything. And we'd, we, I tell you, we had a few hurdles to jump. And uh, we just mastered it all. Felt really confident to be able to say, oh, look, you can do this, you can do that. And then it was like, why are we doing this? <laughs> You know, As Jackie said, it's less, less faffing. Yes, that's right. That's what we want, less faffing. So are you all enjoying this then, yes? They're loving it, absolutely. Isn't this green? This is just the um, lime green from the Colour Splash. Hasn't it come out well? No, that was pistachio. Was it pistachio? It was pistachio that I thought one. I'd used the lime green. Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, you did them. Well, where's my lime green ones then? You're doing that deliberately. You, hey? you, you set them down to the warehouse. Ah, right. Oh, okay. Sorry, this is pistachio. I was going to say, I knew I'd use lime green. Yeah. I forgot, this is the batch that you made yesterday, isn't it? Under, under tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, they're really good. Well, I think you're going to get half a mac on here, Simon. I'm going to be, oh, you know what? It's going to have to have a green matching one with it. Well, but I quite like that actually. I like that. I, I think that I, looks really That looks like lovely, that. doesn't it? Yeah. Look. So we'll do that. Let's put a couple of these together. We've got loads of these now. I mean, I'm just going to show you, hopefully those other ones have uh, cooled down. Yeah, because you made pink ones of these as well, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, I know. It was my batch on Monday, wasn't yes, it? it was. Oh, they were gorgeous lime green ones you did on Monday. Because you did the, uh, like, you did all the, you did uh, like a pink one as well. Yeah. And you did loads. Oh, I've slept since, and I can't remember. Give that lovely yellow, yellow one. one. So I just want to show you what the colours are like, really. So easy to colour. So that, that's why we don't like actually colouring any of our stuff. And the other thing is, you need to watch your colourings, whether they're suitable for vegetarians and vegans. So it's always best, if we, if we eat all the products we make, if we make them white in colour, it means then that you can um, colour them with whatever colouring you want that's suitable for your diet. Can you use SMBC in lifting nozzles? Uh, you can, okay, but you need to have the knack, okay? So if you're not very good at nifty nozzles, all right, don't use them yet. Wait until you've got the knack. And it, you do need to firm it up. Don't do it fresh. Get it in your piping bag and just pop it in your fridge for a minute. And you have to be quick. And Liz has got soggy feet on. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Officially, the macarons. I don't know why you've got soggy feet. <laughs> what do you think? She's not cooked them long enough. Or I think left so. Them to cool. yeah. yeah. I think you've probably taken them off before you before they cool. Well, oh, lady, you do. Yeah. Right, bath is yeah. overflowed. Hey. <laughs> eh? Well, my bath is overflowed. <laughs> yeah. Michael said he loves this blue. Yes, well, I thought Michael would. He would. It's his, he's, a, he's a blue man, isn't he? Yes, he loves that. Yeah. Michael, it's just the colour splash. If any of you are not following Michael, you need to follow him. If you want to know anything about Royal Icing, he's the man. And if I could get him here to do some Royal Icing with this product, I would do. But he lives in Belgium, so we can't. Right, I think that's it now. So I'll fill up the I'll fill up some more, just one second. Right. So let me do those. So tonight we've made we've done loads tonight, haven't we? Yes. So we've made macarons tonight, the easy way. You can't get it any easier than that. I'm gonna get those in a minute for you and peel them off. We've made meringue kisses. So I made these earlier. Our other ones are in the oven. I've taken pictures and when they come out of the oven later, I'll show you. We've made Swiss meringue buttercream all from one product. So how cool is that? It's brilliant, isn't it? See? So up your game. And if you don't want to decorate them, just give them in a bowl like that to the kids and they will just love them. They really will. We've been eating them all the time. So let me go and get our, the rest of our stuff. People have still got time to sign on your class for Wednesday, haven't they, Carol? For the oh, okay, yes. Okay class classes if you want to sign on for the classes let me just explain how the classes work they're brilliant actually and uh, anybody who's in the classes they will tell you what they're what they are but what we do is we actually do the class live and uh, it's a great experience so you can either join in with the class or you can just watch it and enjoy it enjoy the comments and um, we've got the cupcake bouquet class which is on wednesday you can still join and um, you may if you want your bundle where are we on now we're on thursday aren't we there's a 30 pound bundle to buy you don't have to buy it you can source all your own products Products, but by buying the bundle it actually saves you a load of hassle so you can buy it now if you buy it we will upgrade it to next day delivery all right so if you join the group and then you go in the group buy your bundle and then I'll make sure that Yin puts them on next day delivery so that you know you've really got right up until Monday to um, I would say Monday half past one if you want it for next day, Tuesday. We'll do our best. At the end of the day, the, the couriers are doing their best for doing next day delivery and they're doing a great job at the moment. So you should get it Tuesday. The worst would be you'd get it on Wednesday. So if you want to join the group, or book as soon as you can. As soon as you go into the group, you can go back and watch all the past classes. There's three classes and there's two bonus classes. So they're there already. We try to make the class different in every one. So I try and put a little bit of a different theme on or colour. So like this month, all the newbies will be doing what we've done in, in uh, week one. But the people who've been following along from every class, they're using the Karen Davies mould this week. And I think we're making a flower, aren't we? We're making a chrysanthemum. Where are we? I can't remember. I'm sure we're doing yeah. a flower in there. Is it a dahlia this week? No, that's in the buttercream flowers. But we're doing a very easy yeah, chrysanthemum. I'm sure, I'm sure that's what we're doing in the class. It, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to do an easy version of that. And then we've got my buttercream flowers class, which you can jump on and join. And that there, we're going to make at least 20 to 30 flowers. I was going to do one flower a week, but some classes, you know what, we can actually squash in two flowers. And it's a two-hour session, that one. So that's just at half past 11 on a Tuesday, unless we've got Georgie Gobbold in on a, on a, Monday, on a Tuesday. And then we move it to one o'clock on a Thursday. But anyhow, that's what I was saying to you before about the calendar. If you go in the groups and you see the calendar, lots of the ladies are in all the groups and uh, they've got a very busy time especially the week after next because we've got um, Georgie in we've got buttercream flowers and we've got um, Molly Robins in yes. as well so a really busy week right let me go and get these macarons for you so these are the ones we made Let's get that over there Let's just get them there in a minute. So my tray's nice and cool now. So there's all the free trays, and then all you need to do is let's put that over there. 
Once they've cooled, just gently lift the paper and pull them off. Look. So just gently lift the paper. If they're still sticking, just leave them. Don't force them off. They'll all start coming off. I'm just going to leave it for a minute. Usually yeah, about half really, an hour. Really cool, yeah. So just leave it. So I, I'm eager me. I like to try and get them off. So you'll see that they're coming clean away. So just give it a few minutes. I just want to try and show you. Yes, okay. Samantha, the class videos are to own for life. Yes, they are. And you stay in the group for life as well. And the groups are super. Honestly, ask the ladies in the groups. They're so brilliant. That one's just broke. So just gently ease them off. Well, it's Patrick, you need to get a Yeah, of course it is. I'm, I'm speeding things up. So I'm just getting them off there. So there you go. And then if you just put them together, let me pipe the uh, bit more buttercream in here. And then you'll be able to see the feet. And then as well. Yeah, the groups are amazing. Seriously, everybody is so giddy in the groups. It's like the friendliest groups. Honestly, it's like being with family in there. We've got the Sugar and Crumbs All About Cake Community group, and that's brilliant as well. But, you know, we're nearly at 30,000 members there. Um, but the little groups for the cake classes, honestly, if there's ladies watching tonight, they'll tell you how oh, lovely they are. Next, yeah. And you know what? I've kept them all busy. So um, they've all been grateful that I've kept them all busy. I'm Take busy. Totally that. that one. Yeah, that's it. So we'll just, I'll just show you the feet on there then. Put a white, put a dark and a white one together. Put a dark and a white one together. Yeah. So, um, I'd probably say our oven's slightly overdone a minute. I'll do a dark and a light one. Oh, I've done two light ones now, <laughs> haven't I? Sorry, but you can see the feet there, oh, can you see? They look great. Look, that's got feet on there. Have I got two ones together in the camera? Oh, there they are. I'm trying to get rid of these on the camera. And look, there's the green ones. Doesn't that green look fantastic on there? Look at that. They're asking how do they buy the bundle? Which bundle? I think it's a bundle for the, uh, the bouquetiers. Oh, for the bouquetiers, if you're in the cupcake bouquet class, once you've paid to join, so it's £60 to join, what, and, and that's it, you don't pay any more money. You don't pay, a lot of people thought, that they had to keep paying for classes that's it you pay you're in so every class that i do you can watch which is great or join in with and um, the bundle once you go into the group there's a link then in units for the bundle and um you just buy that separately we don't we don't allow you to buy it with the class because the class doesn't include any postage or anything so you have to go and buy that separately but if you spend another 10 pound you get free delivery and if you're buying it now i'm going to upgrade it to next day so how cool is that good great in it can't spend any more than that um, what else was I going to say? That's it really, isn't it? I think that's it. We're done, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> and so I hope I get to see you on the classes. What are we doing tomorrow? It's Friday, isn't it? It's you, yeah, Karen. I'm thinking, uh, back to basics, I was thinking of a lovely uh, chocolate cheesecake with Ooh, some decoration yes. on the top. Do you want know? a chocolate cheesecake tomorrow morning? Was it ch uh, chocolate milkshake you're thinking of? I was thinking of chocolate milkshake, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Good. Yeah, but I was going to do some uh, flavoured, Look at him. flavoured cream on it. And Can him behind the camera there, grinning? <laughs> So I think we'll make a, uh, Karen's mate, I won't be here in the kitchen, I'll just come and do the draw tomorrow, but Karen's going to make a chocolate cheesecake tomorrow, I think she'll drizzle it, what are you thinking of drizzling I'm it with? I'm not too sure, I've got, I've got, I'm in two minds to do two things at the moment. All right, she's still thinking about it, so it's always a surprise. So I just want to say a big thank you for joining us, thank you to Simon, thank you to Karen, I don't know why I went thank you to Simon, thank you Karen, <laughs> thank you Simon. <laughs> Sorry, get myself muddled up. Okay, and thank you to you guys for watching as well and joining in. Can you break Go the macaron in half? Yes, I can. Looks like inside, please. Yeah, get one off in a minute. So, can we see under there? You see how lovely and red it is, the colour. And then nice and doughy as well. Let me just break a green one. So, you can see the green. So, and the colour's so vibrant on the inside, it Aren't just they? stays all the way through. Yeah, there you go. So, aren't they lovely? So, what's the pale ones like? Look, I'm going to have to eat these now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, oh, wait a minute, I made a mess of breaking that one up. Hang on a second.
So I've made a mess of breaking that one up. It's not quite dry yet. But look, you can see the pink. How, and the lovely and chewy on the inside yeah. is what yeah. that one is supposed to be yeah. like. Scoffed it, gone. <laughs> End of the evidence. I'm never going to be slim. I just have to accept it. That's it. It's the way it is. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight's live. If anybody's seen me eat anything, these are not for you. They're not going out to the general public. They're just between Karen, Simon and the warehouse lads who are really very happy to receive them. Everything's been done in a nice clean environment and, um, and it's just a free demonstration to you guys to learn how to use it. But I do want to see them out on the community group there. I want you to see you making your macarons and lose the fear of making them. Yeah? And once these meringue kisses are done, did you put a timer on 45 minutes? I did. There's 14 minutes left yet. Oh, we've got 14 minutes left. So as soon as they're done, I'll take some pictures and I'll pop them on the page. All right then. See you tomorrow at half past 11 with Karen and Simon. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.